Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and Little Miss Kova. So it has been a hot minute since I've been able to do any kind of a haul and I really haven't, I mean, you can't go shopping anyways, but you can go online shopping and you can do like curbside pickup, but I don't do that very much. I mean, if I do do curb, and we lost her. If I do do curbside pickup, it's generally for just the necessities, but there have been a couple things at Target that I have picked up. But I have also gone online and done a little bit of shopping on, mostly on Anthropology because they were having a sale on some of their home stuff. And so I did pick up a couple things from Anthropology, and then I do have a couple little things from Etsy to share with you guys because I think it's super important to shop small and especially now. So I have a couple things from Etsy as well. So I thought I would just share that with you guys today. Um, it's actually sunny out today. I don't know what it's like where you guys live. I mean, it's only 40, but it's sunny. So that's like a huge change. At least we see the sun two days in a row. So that's good. Um, so I thought I would just share with you this little kind of modern farmhouse decor haul and we will just get into it. And she's back again. So hello, Miss Kova. Hi, sweetheart. Yes. Everybody wants to see you. Yes. Your fans want to see you. So we are going to start with what we got at anthropology first um sorry Kova's knocking the tripod um we will start with what we found at anthropology first so you guys know i decorate if you've been around i decorate with a lot of neutrals but i do in the summertime and spring like to add pops of color not always in my decor in the kitchen but like um with towels and stuff like that so they had this <laughs> Yes, she's definitely back, all right? Yes, she is. Okay. All right, I love you too. I love you so much. Yes, you're my buddy. Okay. So they have this pack of washcloths and super, super pretty. They're just um, all, oh, geez, Kova, now she's, sorry. She's really knocking into the tripod. So they had this, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six pack of washcloths. These were actually not on sale. They were $28, but they were having some kind of sale. Like when you put something into your cart, whether it was already on sale or not, the price did knock down, I think. So I'll have to double check. I'll try to put here on the screen how much these things were, but it, this this says $28 and this might not have been on sale, but these are beautiful and they are bright and I love the um, texture and the consistency of these. So I'm super picky about like washcloths in the kitchen. Um, I want them to be absorbent and to clean well and these seem like they're going to. So it is six washcloths, they were $28, but like the colors on these are beautiful. So this is what I mean by like just adding little pops of color with things like this. So these were on Anthropology's website. So next, we have been going through a ton of paper towels and I'm trying so hard to get better about not using so many paper towels. Um, we're using a little more now because I do feel like when I come home from a store or something, of course, the very first thing I do is wash my hands really well. And I do use a paper towel to dry them. I don't, there's just something about, I don't want to grab a towel. And then should there be um, anything on my hands, I don't need to transfer to a towel that then I hang back up and use again. So we use a lot of paper towels in that sense. Like if we happen to have to go anywhere, we do use a lot of paper towels to wash our hands. But um, I need it to stop using them more for just like everyday little stuff. So they did have these washcloths. I think they're so cute. Um, these have little berries on them. This one does. And then this one, it's just a bunch of different stuff. Sunflowers, almonds, cashews, just different things like that. Um, these are the 70% plant-based cellulose and 30% cotton. Um, they're machine washable and they're dishwasher safe. I mean, right now they're very stiff, but apparently all the reviews said how absorbent they are and how well they work. 
So I really need stuff like this because I would grab a paper towel to wipe up if something, even if I spilled water or something, and I don't need to do that. I can grab something like this. So this was a set of two for $8. I can't remember if these were on the clearance. Um, again, I'm gonna put down here somewhere like what the price is that I paid for them, but I did need more of this type of thing so I don't grab for paper towels so much. So next through Anthropology, I did pick up, I didn't, most of it was home decor, but I did pick up this adorable, very dainty initial necklace. I hope it's like right here or else I would get a little closer. So it's just a really pretty dainty necklace, initial necklace. I had been eyeing these for a while. They were on sale. I think I got it for like $17. Again, I'll put the price, but um, super pretty, very dainty. I just leave it on all the time. Haven't had an issue with it yet. I've had it for a couple weeks or a week or two. But um, so I love that. So that was probably the only kind of personal fashion like thing that I picked up from Anthropology. So next I picked up one of their Capri Blue candles. These are amazing. The smell of these, I don't even know if it gives, I can't describe it. So summery and just like fruity or something. I don't know. It reminds me of like the tropics or something. I love this. So I love to order these. Um, they last for a long time. The last one I had lasted forever. They're beautiful. So they have different jars that these can come in. I like just this opal jar and this copper lid. I think it looks w nice with, stop, stop it. I think it looks nice with um, vintage stuff and modern farmhouse stuff. I love the little pop of copper on the lid. So I will put the price for this across the screen also. So next on their website, they had these on the clearance section. I think they're so pretty. They're just little drinking goblets. I think they'll be perfect for summer. I did only get a set of four because I wanted to see what they were like before I got, or before I ordered a set of eight. So I probably will jump on if they're still available and order another set. It was super important to me that they were um, dishwasher safe. I don't wanna buy glasses that I have to hand wash every time we use them. I want them to be everyday wear that I can use and then just put in the dishwasher. So these you could put in the dishwasher. I think they're super pretty. And um, they this is the gray color. I think they have clear and they may even have a blue one. I'm, don't quote me on that, I'm not positive. But I will put the price across. These were definitely on sale. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and probably order another one. Most of their glasses are not dishwasher safe, I was finding, so it was very important I found ones that were dishwasher safe. So, and they're just the perfect little size. So I got those at Anthropology. So the last thing I ordered at Anthropology, when I showed you guys my Amazon favorites a couple of weeks ago, or about a week ago, I think it was last week, um, I told you about the either the Stojo or Stoho collapsible mug or cup. Well, they had this particular one on their website and it just this one was on sale and I don't even know why, but I think the color is so pretty. So this is also the 16 ounce collapsible cup and it comes with a little rubber straw. I'm obsessed with these. So now I have the pink one and the blue one. I put my iced coffees, I put my lemonades, I put my water, I put, you could put hot in here, you could put coffee. I do not put coffee in here because I generally don't take hot coffee on the go, but I'll put my iced coffee in here. Um, these are amazing. So it says tea, coffee, water. I mean, you can just put whatever you want in these. And I think it was on sale for $14 or $15. They're $20 on Amazon. So if they still have these, that's a great deal. Otherwise, they're still totally worth the $20. They collapse down, so you can just throw it in your purse or you know, leave it in your car somewhere in like the console or something. And then just you have it if you want to go through a drive through where once everything opens back up and you can reuse reusable cups, you will always have it with you. So this was a huge deal and I was so happy to find this. And I think that color, that like periwinkle color is so pretty. So I guess that was everything that I ordered on Anthropology. So next I did go over to Grove and pick up an order. So I like to leave um, my cleaning supplies out in my bathrooms, but so that they look pretty. So I wanted a really cute caddy so that if you needed to use 
um, like Clorox wipes or something like that, you could, they were stored in a cute little caddy that was still out, but it still looked cute. So this is their little pink one. It has the handle. Um, it's just the cleaning caddy or organization. Like this would look really cute in my office with some like organizing some DIY supplies. So that's a good thought. I might have to get another one of these. Um, but I just think these are really cute. And I think this is part of like a spring summer. It might carry through the summer. I'm not actually positive. I don't shop a ton on Grove, but um, I did love this. And then on Grove, I did pick up some of their European dish cloths. Um, again, perfect for cleaning up dishes, wipes, and wiping up spills. They're reusable and they're dishwasher safe. So I thought these were really pretty. Again, adding the little bit of pops of color for summer. And so these were also on the Grove site. And then the last thing I ordered on the Grove site from the Cherry Blossom collection was their little bubble up. I do love this. You just put your soap and a little bit of water in there and you could do this and it always is in there. So this is like a little springy thing that sits down at the bottom. And so the brush does not sit directly in like the cleaning solution, but you can just kind of press it down when you need some on there because this is like little holes. And so I did get this to leave by my sink. And again, it looks cute for summer. So that was all that I grabbed from Grove. Okay, so next on Etsy from the Copper Candle Company, I ordered a couple of candles. Um, super farmhouse, like just they're adorable. So I did order those. Like I said, I do like to shop small and support those small businesses. So I'm gonna leave the Etsy name down in the description box so you know where I got these. Um, but the first one I ordered is Farmhouse. I love these little containers, super farmhouse looking. Um, love just the simplicity of the label. And oh, the smell of this is, oh, it's amazing. I'm I, like terrible at describing scents, but it's definitely citrusy, like lemon, but like sweet lemon, almost like lemon pound cake or something smell. Oh, it's just amazing. So this one is the, I don't remember what ounce jar this was. I'll try to put it down there and let you know. But so this one is the one that it says farmhouse and just super cute. I love this like mason jar with the, you know, again, coppery brushed, more like a brushed bronze kind of lid. Um, so I grabbed this one. And then I grabbed the smaller one, and this one is called Shiplap. The simplicity of the labels is what I love the most. I love Bath & Body Works candles, but sometimes the labels take away from the candle. So I love just this look of this little mason jar with the lid with a super simple farmhouse-like label. And this one just smells fresh and clean. I mean, it smells like a cotton, you know, fresh cotton kind of candle just fresh and clean. So this is the one you want to light. Like if you just cleaned your house and everything smells wonderful, this one would be perfect. This one is probably my favorite out of the two, but they're both amazing. So again, these are the different size jars. And again, I'll put all that Etsy, her Etsy shop information down below. Okay. So next I did the Target curbside pickup and I had been high eyeing this from the Hearth and Hand collection since before everything went into shutdown and I've been thinking about it and I have some areas I need to redecorate that will be coming up here hopefully at the end of this week and next week I'll have a few decorating videos for you guys also but um, I had been thinking about this and I loved it so much so I decided to do, add it into one of my Target curbside pickups and again this was the Hearth and Hand and it is the Terrarium and it was $34.99 but I think it's so, so it still has all the styrofoam in there and everything because I haven't even done anything with it yet. Still has the tag and everything on it. But um, the top just opens up and you could put plants or candles or I don't know. I'm just excited to see what kind of an arrangement I can have. Oh, it's like magnetic. That's kind of cool. Or it seems like it's magnetic. I don't know. But anyways, I thought this was so pretty. So the sides are glass. The top is opened. So you could put real plants, fake plants, which is what I'll do because, you know, kitty life. I don't want to add real plants, but um, it has the little wooden handle. 
So I love that. I think of, when I think of like black metal is really what I think of as modern farmhouse. So really what I haven't trans transitioned over to modern farmhouse yet, I'm trying to slowly do that. So I did, I picked this up and I'm super happy with that purchase. So then I have seen a lot of the black metal um, hangers for your mugs, the mug racks, and I love them but I wanted something just a little different because everybody has that black metal one. So this was again, another Target curbside pickup, different time. I don't buy these all at the same time. I, you know, if I get a home decor piece, it might be I add one in or something, but um, Colvis, Colvis back. Okay, we gotta look out, honey. So they had this one and I thought it was so pretty. I love the wood. It's got a little bit of like a brushed bronze, um, not bronze, brushed gold, I guess, hangers for the mugs. So it's not too big, so I love that. Um, it's just like the perfect size, and I think I have the perfect place for it. So it's just like different from what everybody else has. You guys know that I don't always love to do what everybody else does. I like to have my own style. So I'm excited to kind of incorporate this into the kitchen and see how this is going to work out. So this is again at Target, and this was $35. So the last thing I got from Target was not a curbside pickup. This I actually got before everything, just before everything had shut down. I was at Target and I have been eyeing this mirror for a long time. And I had a couple different thoughts on where I maybe wanted to put it. it was like maybe in the spare bedroom I was going or the guest bedroom, I was gonna redo that. But I love it way too much. And it's so modern farmhouse that I am going to be switching up my entryway and I think I'm gonna be adding that in there. That might be the next video that goes up is kind of switching up the entryway. I don't know, I'm not positive, but it will be up here in the next couple videos. So I picked up this mirror. Sorry, I'm trying not to reflect everything. So it is just this black, the gold rim mirror. So you can see right here what it looks like. It's just the round mirror. With the black frame, it does come. It does come in, I think, a gold frame, and at the store. And then if, you might be able to order like a brushed nickel frame or something. Also, don't know if that's at the store, but I know the silver or the gold and the black frame ones are at the store. So it's pretty large. It's the 28 um, inch. Yes, 28 inch diameter round circle mirror by Project 62. It was $59.99. Um, mirrors I don't find are very cheap, but I have been eyeing this style for a while and it is one of those things that once I hang it, it will be there for a long time. So I don't mind spending a little bit more for things that are like staple pieces that are going to stay up where they're supposed to be. So anyways, that is everything that I have for this haul for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Trying to give you a little, you know, just some different, con trying to bring back some of my original content that I do. Um, you know, I, unfortunately I love doing like the day in the life and everything. They don't just don't do so great on my channel. So that just shows me that's not really what you guys want to see, which I totally understand. Or like I said before in my previous video, YouTube will not recommend those videos because that is not what my channel niche is. I'm a decorating channel. So if it doesn't have to do with decorating, they're not going to, you know, recommend it to other people. So anyways, I'll still do some of those from time to time. I know some of you guys really enjoy them and I enjoy making them. And they're ones that I can make right now because I have to live. So, you know, and I try to do something different every day, whether it be cleaning something, organizing something, a project or decorating something or baking something, which is I'm doing way too much of. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody is staying safe and is healthy and well, and you guys are all in my thoughts and prayers all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you will subscribe. And I have, like I said, some decorating uh, videos coming up for you guys soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And if you follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana, I also try, I've been trying to get better with really doing more stories and uploading on that as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.